Juan and I want to welcome you to my channel where I share with you my journey of learning how to oil paint. For today's video, I am once again painting a portrait of one of my friends. I have been wanting to paint her for quite a while now and so I'm glad that I'm finally able to do so. But that's enough talk for me, let's get right into it. Alright, so as usual, I begin by staining the canvas and putting in these grid lines so that I can draw in the underpainting. Although this isn't a canvas, this is a panel, but that doesn't really matter. Now I've been practicing drawing using this method quite a bit and so I think, in my opinion, that my drawing has started to get a little bit better. Of course I'm nowhere near being able to draw something like this freehand, but I'm sure I'll get there at some point. Although I'm not really too worried about it. If I am never able to draw freehand, it doesn't really matter to me. I enjoy painting using this method. However, it, it's not perfect. As you can see, I had to make a few corrections with the pencil, particularly on her brow ridge there on the right side. It was sticking out a little bit too much, and so I had to bring it back in a little bit to make it look a little bit more like it was in the photograph. Now, I don't really know how long I've been painting for it. I'll have to look back at my Instagram post or something to kind of deduce how long I've been painting, but I would say it's been about two and a half, maybe three years. But in all that time, I've come through with this method that works for me for painting, at least for painting a portrait. What I do is obviously I put in the underpainting and then I put in the block in. From the block in, I then move on to just making adjustments with those subsequent layers of paint. For me, I've noticed that it's just much easier to put on layers of paint even though they may not be completely accurate to what the reference photo is showing. Because in my mind, it's a lot easier for me to just make adjustments from the wrong color to make it move over more to what the right color is, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm not really explaining it properly. But yeah, here you can see me putting in that second layer of paint, making those adjustments to the colors. I don't know what it is about it, but it just works in my mind. the reason why I chose to paint this specific photograph. I had taken quite a few photographs of my subject and they're all very nice and I will be painting some of them in the future. However, just the look in her eyes in this specific photo, I can't even describe it. It just captured my attention and I really wanted to be able to make that come through in a painting. Now the left eye, which you can't really see at the moment. In my opinion, it's a lot better than the one on the right. However, I feel that together they really make the painting come together so well. And honestly, I believe that this painting, up to this point at least, was the best portrait that I had done. Since painting this portrait, I've completed another one that I believe is actually better than this one, but I'll let you guys decide when you see that one. Either way, I'm in love with how the look in her eyes came across in this one, and I, I believe I managed to capture that look.
And there you have it. This portrait has turned out to be one of my favorites that I've painted so far, and I certainly hope that you like it too. As always, if you have any advice or suggestions, please be sure to let me know. That's all I have for now, so I will see you next time. Have a good one.